this video we are the topic of forecasting and we will be looking into exponential smoothing model so looking into this data i'll explain to you what is exponential smoothing so let's say we have data on sales and we have data for five weeks and we want to forecast what will be the sales for week six so for exponential smoothing this is the formula that we use which is f okay period t plus one if you want to find this forecast value equals to 1 minus alpha. Alpha is referred to the smoothing constant which takes the value between 0 to 1 and we have f okay for the period of t plus alpha times a. a refer to the observed value in period t. So let me show you how we can calculate the value here. When Microsoft Excel runs this data, the first two data for week 1 and week 2 will be the same. So how do we get the 25.1 here? Yeah. So it's 1 minus 0 0.1 times 25. So the 25 here is the forecast value for week 2. Yeah, we are taking the prior forecast plus 0 0.1 times 26, which is the observed value or the actual value in week 2. So these are the two values that we are using to predict or forecast the value in week 3. So this process is going to continue until we will get this value here, 25.8. So we can, based on the values here, we can actually forecast now that for week 6, the sales is going to be 25.8. So technically, if you look into alpha here, alpha is a weight. If this 0 0.1, if the value is getting greater, it means a greater yeah, fraction of the uh, observed value is taken into consideration to predict the future value. Next, I'll be showing you how to run exponential smoothing using Microsoft Excel. So using this hypothetical data, we have selected 0 0.1 as our alpha, which is our smoothing constant here. So what you can do, you can go to data, from data, you pick up data analysis and you select exponential smoothing. Click OK. Now we need to select our data. You select your entire data range here. So we want to predict yeah, for week 8. Now they have here damping factor. Now what do you mean by damping factor here? As we our alpha is 0 0.1, we won't key in there 0 0.1 it will be 1 minus 0 0.1. Yeah, therefore, it will be 0 0.9. And where do we want our output range to be? It will be exactly over here. Yeah, just beside the first week value here. And then we click OK. So what you can see over here is that Excel has already forecast the values. And let's say if we want value for week, Eight, you just need to drag the value down. Yeah, so it will be 26.36. Now let's say if we want the alpha to be 0 0.3, we can do that. Go back to your data analysis. Go back to your exponential smoothing. Now the damping factor here will not be 0 0.9. It will be 1 minus 0 0.3, which is 0 0.7. Your output range here. And you click... OK. So next, what you can do, you can just drag this down and you can see now the predicted value, the forecast value for using 0 0.3 is 27.6. So can you see both these values are different if we are assigning different weights? So again, which value shall we use? What we have to do, we have to check on the residuals. To check for residual values, we can use three methods. You can use mean absolute deviation, mean square error, mean absolute percentage error. In order for you to see how to calculate MAD, MSE, MAP, and to decide which particular value to select in order for you to do a very wise forecast, go back to my prior video which talks about moving average model.